Okay guys, Soja Girl, um, saving with Shay brother. This is a pretty requested video. Offer up, let it go, you know, Facebook groups. Um, a lot of, uh, of us as couponers, we do resell our stockpile. Um, and so this is a this is a really big requested video. Um, I post a lot of ideas um, from time to time on Instagram to give you guys ideas of how to put your bundles together. Okay, one thing I do when I take my pictures, you guys, is I make sure that my lighting is really, really good. I don't take these pictures. Um, I have this stuff on the floor for the sake of this video on space. But when I take my pictures, I take my pictures on the table. Um, make sure that your lighting is really good. Make sure that you can see everything in your picture. If you have a lot going on, make sure that you take advantage of the fact that on offer by know at least you can post three or four additional pictures. So you might want to zoom in so that, you know, potential buyers can kind of know what your ounces or sizes or, or count on everything. Another thing that I make sure that I do is in my description box, I list every single thing that's in this bundle. Um, just so that way, if you're a potential uh, buyer, you can kind of go through the description box and you know exactly what everything is. I don't like to just post a bundle and have them thinking or trying to zoom in to see what ounces are, or the you know counts are. Um, that is just something that makes it easier for you as the seller and makes it easier um, for the buyer. Another thing that I do also is I edit my pictures where I edit the price into the pictures so that way when you're perusing or when customers are perusing through offer up the home page, they know exactly how much something is without actually having to click on it. I think that in itself just saves more time. Um, I just use a basic uh, editor on my phone to edit the prices in. But yeah, you want to make sure that all of your labels are facing forward. Make sure that the lighting is really, really good. I go with natural lighting um, and make sure that everything can be seen in your bundle. Only thing that should be in the picture is what's for sale. Don't have your bundle in front of a whole lot of stuff or a whole lot of um, stuff that you've couponed all week long and you're going to take a picture in front of this stuff it's going to just crowd your picture up and it'll probably give your your uh, potential buyer a headache because i know it would give me a headache so yeah so i just wanted to kind of throw that in there um as i was editing this video so hope this helps again don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you guys want to see more videos like this and i will see you guys uh yeah later today i'm gonna go over three of my top well, actually, I think these are my only household bundles that I have now. And I'm kind of going to go over the one that's the least uh, to um, the most expensive one. All right. And so this is bundle here is very, it's a small, you know, um, has a little bit of everything type of bundle. Um, this one I price at $12. Um, it's, it's that bundle that's good for like, you know, the single person or, you know, maybe a young couple or, or you know, or an older couple um, where it's just a couple people. You know what I'm saying? It's affordable. It's not going to, you know, break the bank or anything like that. And again, it has a little bit of everything. All right. So I have a 25 um, load Tide. I have um, the Kroger brand bleach which we got those super super I think those ended up being like 33 cents um the tide those tides are practically free I think I got those at either Rite Aid or I think it was Rite Aid and after points and everything they were practically free all right um the um Charmin that was a deal that I did at um at Dollar General using a three off of 15 using coupons um and I had a little bit of overage too um, very, 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 very cheap. The Kleenex, those are free um, after rebates through Checkout 51. They would use it, something that stack, I think the coupons normally like a buy three, get one free, or buy four, get one free. You know, top that with uh, a store deal plus uh, Saving Star had an offer, I guess, when you buy, buy like four, you get back 220. So really, really cheap on those. The Lysol, 
we get those really cheap too. There, are, uh, there's a promotion I think at Albertson. I think that actually ended yesterday. Made those a quarter. The palm olive are also really really cheap. Um, if that's the really cheap one, I got those from Walmart. I think that was a, that was a while ago with the coupon. It made them like thirty three cents or something like that. The gain sheets, uh, really really cheap on that. I think I used I forget what coupon. I think it was like a five off of three or something like that. That was a while ago. Um, and so my point is, you guys, you're putting together a bundle with products you practically paid nothing for. So it's all profit on how much you want to price it at. I normally will deduct about $10 and charge that. So I scan all the items on the Walmart app. Um, and then I just deduct ten dollars and and that's pretty much what I do um but yeah but when you're putting your prices together for your bundles give each item a price tally it all up and then make whatever deduction that you want to um to make to it uh, and then price it all right um now a lot of it is is trial and error you know you might price it too high and if it doesn't sell you know after a week or so or a few days just depending on how, how often you sell um, you might want to drop the price a little bit, you know, compare your bundles to other bundles that are priced on offer up, let go, um, first five, Facebook groups, wherever your um, avenue you're selling your products for. All right. So that's the bundle number one. Again, I sell this one for $12. This one I sell really, really often because it's so affordable. And again, it has a little bit of everything. I mean, if you went to the store and bought the Charmin and the Tide, uh, that alone would probably cost you $10. So everything else is practically free. All right, so that's that bundle. And then let's get ready for bundle number two. Okay, this is bundle number two. Um, now let me say this, I am throwing in the home Kroger brand bleach because that's all I have as far as bleach. Um, I try to add bleach to my bundles whenever I can. If I have Clorox, it's even better, but this is kind of what I have now. Um, and I have quite a bit of those, so that's why I'm kind of throwing them into the bundles. Um, this is my second bundle. It is um, the Purcell. This is the 50 ounce bottle. Um, again, I have the bleach, I have the Purell um, hand sanitizer. I think those were free at Staples a while ago. Um, the Snuggles um, softener sheets, these were, I want to say, those are free after uh, the uh, three off two coupon plus the um, Saving Star offer. Um, the Cottonelle wipes, those cost you about 50 cents or so after coupon and, and rebate on Ibotta. The Lysol, again, is another product that we get, um, we get deals on. Um, I think that those are from, I want to say those are from... Um, Mm, I want to say maybe Dollar General. The Pine Saw, those were super cheap. Got those from Food for Less. Throw that in there. As, and then I have the tissue, which I got from Dollar General. And my Dollar General out in this area, you guys, was actually closing. And everything in their store was 50% off. So I went and got a, a ton of stuff. On top of coupons and digitals, I paid literally nothing. And not to mention the three off of 15s as well. All right. Um, the Scott's. That is the 12 equals 23 rolls. The Kleenex is the 160 box count box. And then I also have the scrubbing bubbles drop-ins for the toilet. That pretty much completes my second um, bundle. This one I am selling for $20. And I think I've sold four of these so, so far. Um, one tip with setting up bundles, you guys, is um, when you uh, put together a bundle, I try to have at least a good four to six bundles prepared. Um, because a lot of times these bundles sell so fast and it's good to have, you know, at least four to six bundles ready to go so that you're not like you sold one bundle. Now you have like three offers on one bundle. Um, and that, that I had that problem early on when I was just learning, but again, try to set up at least four to six, if not more bundles, um, before you start posting. All right. And that's that bundle. I'm trying to think of anything else I can add. I don't normally add personal hygiene stuff to my household bundles just because I feel like it's a lot. Uh, a person has to kind of 
digest when they're looking at your bundle. The buyer has to be able to utilize everything in your bundle. And I feel like household products is something that we all use, but sometimes with personal hygiene stuff, people are more, you know, more um, brand loyal or whatever. And so I try to keep my personal hygiene bundles separate and on their own. Um, and so, yeah, and so again, this is uh, bundle number two. Let's go on to bundle number three. Okay, and this is my final bundle, you guys. This one I am, I am selling for 25, and I um, think I have two more of these left. Um, this is a larger bundle. I have sold bundles for more than 25. I've sold bundles for $30, and they'll sell too. Um, but again, this one is only selling for $25. Um, the cotton nail and the Scots, both items I got from Dollar General, super cheap, like I said before, with a coupon, 50% off the entire store, um, on top of three off of 15 um, survey coupons, made those really, really, really cheap. Um, I got a box of Kleenex at the top as well. We get those for about 90, I think those boxes are about 96 cents at Walmart, 50 cent coupon, plus there was a rebate, made those free. The wet ones, I don't remember where I got the wet ones from. I think I got those from Rite Aid. It was a part of some type of deal. Um, I think maybe they were buy one, get one free. I had coupons on both products. Um, after points, it was a really good deal on that. The Gain um, and the Gain laundry soap, I don't remember where I got that from. I want to say that was probably um, most likely Rite Aid after points and everything made those super cheap. The Gain sheets, same thing with that. Um, coupon, I think I got those from Walmart. The Hefty Storage Bags, that deal was from, I want to say that deal was from, I'm trying to think, I want to say Bonds. I want to say that deal was probably at Bonds, either Bonds or Albertsons. Um, that deal, which made those really, really cheap. The Febreze, those were at Rite Aid. I had a buy one, get one free coupon on top of points. It made that a great deal as well. Um, scrubbing Bubbles. I think that pack runs about three and some change after coupon and rebates. Um, made that an okay price. Not the best price, but an okay price. Lysol, same thing. I think I got those from um, from Vons or Albertsons. The um, Pinalin disinfective cleaner is at Walmart. I think those cost about $2.47 after coupon and rebates. It makes those really cheap. Scrubbing bubbles, I think I got those from maybe Dollar General, um, but yeah. But the, the purpose of me telling you guys how much I paid for every individual thing just lets you see how cheap you can pay for something. And um, the point is to pay as little as possible to maximize your profit, all right? Um, that's pretty much what it's all about. I know that some items we tend to buy through couponing and it's a great deal and we know we're gonna flip it. So uh, we know that there's still gonna be some type of profit um, but with my bundles and stuff, I really try to keep my out-of-pocket as low as possible. Um, again, maximizing that profit. I don't switch out items very much. Um, I really try to just have my whole bundle sold as is. Um, I don't like to flip-flop between other products, other items. It just makes it confusing. As far as how I, when I post my bundles, again, I will post, this is considered the complete household bundle. Um, if I do have six available, I will put in the title, it'll be household complete household bundle um, number one. I will post it six times if I need to, just so that I have six bundles on there. My description box will always say how many I have available as I sell one. I, put, I post that one sold, and then I edit all of the other ones to um, account for, um, for, for, that, for that. I really try to have a little bit of everything in the bundles. Um, and so, yeah, I, I try to have some type of uh, detergent. I try to get bleach if, if I can. I don't have bleach in this bundle. Um, storage bags is something that I added to my bundles because I, it's a household bundle. I feel like that's something that a household can utilize. I know I use the hell out of the slider bags. Um, I try to have some type of disinfective cleaner. I try to have some type of toilet bowl cleaner. Um, of course, I, I have to have Kleenex, tissue, um, and paper towels is something I don't put on all my bundles. But yeah, but I think that's basically it. Um, another tip for you guys, 
try to bundle your bundles up and have them already ready to go. So what I do is I put them in bags and I kind of store them in my garage so that way once I sell a bundle, I can kind of just go grab it and it's already ready to go. Um, try to get boxes wherever you can. Whenever I go to Food for Less in the mornings, um, after the gym, I'll go and grab boxes and boxes always come in handy to help um, store, help package your stuff up so that it, again, it's professional and it's organized. Um, other than that, you guys, I really, really hope this video was helpful to you guys. Definitely give me a big, big thumbs up of support if you guys want to see more videos like this. Um, definitely let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Okay, then really, really quick, you guys. These are the bundles I have set up right now waiting for customers. Um, I think I have three customers coming in the next hour. And the last one I think is coming later around five. All right, and so basically this is how I set up my bundles, how I package everything up. Um, I don't normally use bags for the tissue paper and the paper towels just because they're kind of big. Um, again, when you're out, you guys, shopping, couponing, get bags whenever you can because they will come in handy. I know I've seen posts on OfferUp of people saying bring your own bag, but it sucks when you have to bring your own bag, all right, especially if you're buying a lot of stuff. So this is how I um, organize things. Like this was that first really small bundle, that one, and then that's the one um, that's $20. And those are the ones that are 25, all right? So again, it's all about being organized, having things ready to go. Um, so that way when the customer comes,